Hey guys, what's going on? Yankee Cowboy here. Some promised footage of the 2013 blizzard. So let's take a look what I got to trek through to get to my snowblower. Okay guys, <laughs> here's the back steps to the house. And uh, it was crazy the past couple of days, so we're just going to like, we're going to have to trudge through the top of this to get to the, uh, the shed to get the snowblower out. I can dig the wife's truck out. And we've already sunk in. Hedges are all down, as you can see. Man, this is crazy. Look at this, guys. Look at the drift of the pool. That pool height's actually 52 inches high. And uh, the drifts are just pretty crazy. I carved out some path to get there, but uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay, guys. I made it through the trek through the backyard. I just wanted to show you the piece of my driveway I had to cove out for the truck. And uh, give you an idea what this wall looks like. Look at the size of that wall. Actually, let me get in the front of this. My truck's an F-250, guys. This is a pretty tall truck. And this drift was actually higher. There's my wife's Tahoe. That's what I gotta work on next. Look at that. It's crazy. Look at my front steps, guys. Just buried. A little concerned about the snow on the roof, but I think it'll be alright. Alright, guys. Put this in perspective. Look at my truck. F 250. It's almost up to the door. Pretty nuts. My street's a dead end because I live where the, the beach is right there, down there at the park. So, I get a lot of plow activity down here, as you can tell. But when they do plow this crap, it's going to be a nightmare. They're going to plow us back in. Alright guys, I'm going to go grab the snowblower. Start digging the old lady's Tahoe out because, as you can see guys, it's buried. Somebody having some fun on a four-wheeler. I wish I could. I can't get into my garage, guys. As, uh, as you can see, my garage is snowed in. So, I'm going to make the trek back here and grab the old Cub Cadet out. And do some, uh, do some snow blowing. Got some pretty good tracks here. Those look a little big to be a dog track. But there's a dog dropping. I seen some coyotes out the other night, that's why I was curious if it was a coyote. And there's the ocean, guys. There's the water back there. Nice and calm today. It was cranking the other day. Alright guys, I'm gonna head into the uh, the old second part of the garage here and dig out the snowblower and do some snowblowing. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, got the Tahoe out. Got my neighbor parked there with his Chevy. He's cleaning out the house next door. There's the old Cub. Dredged it all out. Job well done. And I uh, actually carved the path to the front steps, which is good. Got a loader on our street. I know. This is what we're resorting to, guys. Loaders, dump trucks, whatever it takes. Alright guys, got the GoPro here. I was going to wear it for some of the snow footage with the snowblower, but you know, nobody wants to see somebody snowblowing. I just wanted to give you guys a tour of uh, in the neighborhood. It's pretty ruddled. This is a couple days after the storm, but I mean, we got bucket loaders on the street. A lot of these roads aren't even plowed. It's crazy. So we're going to do a little drive along. I don't have a suction cup mount for this, so it might be a little shaky. It's going to be me holding the camera. But uh, we'll give it a whirl. Hey 
Hey guys, there's a loader cleaning out the secondhand streets that aren't done. See that street there? Completely not plowed right down to the water. Uh, most of these roads are one lane. There's a uh, there's only one lane on most of these roads. Actually, this is pretty wide compared to some of them. Just because parks and some private guys were plowing this one. Uh, some of the side roads are clear. That one's clear. That one wasn't touched. On the other side, I didn't show you guys. Uh, in case you're wondering where I'm going, I'm on my way to Home Depot because the water line, look at this, guys. <laughs> Do not enter. Yeah, it's going to be a while before you enter that street. That's crazy. Uh, the water line on the back of the house to the hose, the brass snap, usually does every year. I'm um, right on the water, so you know it's gonna it's gonna take a beating from the wind, and it's dripping. So one year I came home after being out on the bike, and I came home there was a water leak back there. It was leaking for a while, so uh, usually every year I should probably buy two this time, so I have one for next time. Look at that street, guys. I ain't getting in there either. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, these are just some side streets nothing too uh nothing too crazy i'll show you guys what the main roads look like once i get to one all right guys i made it to civilization uh last night this lot here was full of uh trucks that the united illuminating the power company contracted up here they all stayed in the hotel anticipating uh power outages all right we're at the main roads, uh, Home Depot's across the way. It looks like it might be open, guys. I hope, because I gotta fix this leak. All right, look at that. Highways are moving, they're clear. Looks like they got a couple lanes open now on the highway. We got two here. It's just all the secondary roads and, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's still a lot of spots in some parts of the highway and towns that are just not done. It's going to be a while. Uh, governor said probably about 10 days before we can get this mess really, really cleaned up. So, you know, we'll do what we got to do, right? It's all you can do. I don't mind it, guys. I'll take snow over a hurricane or any of that stuff any day. Been through too many of those so far. Snowstorms I could deal with. It eventually melts and goes away. All right, guys, we're coming up on Home Depot. Hopefully they're open. I see cars there, so it's a good sign. Let's see if I can get in the damn entrance over here. I know you got bucket loaders and stuff going on in here. Uh, yeah, appears to be open, guys. Cool. All right, guys, the Cowboys signing off. I'm going to head in Home Depot. And, uh get what I need so I can fix my leak I may throw a little something else in here for the 2013 blizzard with the Yankee Cowboy and I'll catch you guys later all right guys Tahoe's in the driveway 250 safe and sound we're all good I'm gonna leave my coke there because it's frozen anyway now we'll get another one out of my truck and uh, that's gonna do it job well done okay guys that's gonna do it for the blizzard of 2013 that's all the cowboys got I've been busy all weekend hauling snow out of here with the blower and shoveling and work I'm done I'm gonna go inside and have a nice supper and relax so uh, catch you guys later